Yo, what up, nerds? Let me just preface this video by saying that I have played every single Souls game, except for, I think, Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 was the one that I stayed off of because people said it wasn't as good as the others, so I just never really got into it. I've played from the very beginning Demon Souls on PS3 when people thought I was weird for playing it because nobody was playing it at the time and it was just this really weird hard game with knights and magic. I played Bloodborne, I played Demon Souls, I played Dark Souls 1, I played Dark Souls 3, I played all of them. This one trumps all of them easily. I think everything about this game is superior than all the others in every aspect. In weapons, in customization, in magic, in the enemy design, character design, the classes are cooler, the prisoner, I love that oh thing. That God. helmet was so goofy dude, I had to pick that. It looked like I was about to take a dive down into the ocean with that thing on, man. You know, I think the writing on the, the game was really interesting too. It follows that same sort of path that the other games took. Where they don't really explain a lot to you in-game about the lore. It's something sort of investigated and researched and guessed upon and hypothesized. There are a few things and few hints that the game gives you and that you have to go sort of search, search for. You have to find out on your own. The game is fantastic. I'll give it an 86 out of 12. Best game out of the Souls games so far at all. Loved it. I still haven't beaten Melania because I'm a noob. But there's one thing in specific that I really want to talk about in this game and it's the character design. All the characters in this game are so memorable that it makes me forget all other characters. No, not really, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The game is so good at getting you delved into the story, it is fantasy in a nutshell. And this game has made me rage so many times. And guys, let me tell you, I'm not a gamer, well, <laughs> I am not a gamer that typically rage quits on games. Now there's some of you out there who know me and have played games with me, especially competitive games where I have rage quit. But I'm not one of those players that throws controllers at the screens and breaks through systems and does all that nutty stuff that you always see on Facebook videos that seem kind of fake. But this game has made me rage so many times. You, you just have to get to the point where you gotta stop playing. You know, you give up and then you come back the next day, you try something else, you spend a weird amount of hours grinding so that you can level up, and you find weird rune farms that shouldn't be in the game. And then you keep going. You find other bosses to fight, find other mini bosses to fight, until you can come back and beat that original boss that was murdering you for 20 hours. So yeah, the game is fantastic. Highly recommend it to everybody. Unless you don't like hard games, if you can't handle the hard games, I wouldn't go near this game because you're going to hate it. In my time, I recommended Bloodborne and Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1 and 3 to so many people, and I've even lent my copy of Bloodborne to friends, and they just cannot get past things, and they give it back to me saying that they hated it because it was so hard, and if that's your deal, I totally get it. This game is not for you. You should not be playing it. But anyways, enough talking about the gameplay itself. Let's talk about this digital painting that I'm doing. I think Ronnie the Witch is probably the most memorable character from the game just because of her character design. I think the guys at From Software did a fantastic job designing this character. I think her storyline, her quest and storyline are really cool and really interesting. She gives along a lot of other side characters that can go along with you that, that also have really cool character designs. I just love her big gigantic hat. There's something about it that makes it her character seem way over the top and it works so well in this kind of game because this game is completely, it believes itself to be high fantasy because it is high fantasy. So it's totally believable that a character would be out there like Rani or Rani however you want to say it that is just this completely over the top witch with a gigantic hat. I won't give any spoilers for the game. 
Um, I know there's a lot of people out there who still haven't beaten it due to the difficulty of the game, so I'm not going to give any spoilers here, but Ronnie the Witch, when you find her and start her quest line, is it's probably some of the best parts of the game in all honesty, and some of the most memorable parts of Elden Ring. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking some reference photos that I got online. I'll throw them up here on the screen so that you can take a look at the ones that I'm using. Obviously for a bunch of reference photos, I'm changing up some things, uh, giving them different, a little bit different proportions, changing up their faces, changing up their eyes, combining different reference photos to make one piece that I think is original. And like I said I've, in my other videos guys, I think all artists should be using reference photos, especially the young artists. I think it helps a great deal whenever we're trying to approach realism for our concepts and our pieces. I think it'll do wonders for people's artwork. So if you're a young artist out there and somebody has told you not to use reference photos, that's a bunch of bullcrap. We need to practice drawing from life, and that's what reference photos are for. So take your own reference photos if you have to, put yourself in weird funny poses that you need for poses that you're drawing for your art. Put those on a clipboard next to you in your computer or, or wherever you're drawing and use those reference photos to do your piece. Reference photos are the chef's kiss of art. Everybody should be using them. They are glorious, guys. They're fantastic. And I can't speak highly enough about all the artists on YouTube that talk about young artists using reference photos. It's one of the most important things that I think young artists can utilize in their work in order to improve and in order to progress as artists. Don't feel like you're cheating. Don't feel like you're stealing from somebody else's work because I know young artists can feel that way. That's not the case. Another thing that I kind of wanted to add in here was Ronnie always sort of looks kind of gloomy or um, sad in a way in the game and I wanted to add sort of a deviant look to her, give her a little, little bit of, I wanted her to look sort of mischievous, you know. And I think one of the poses that really works for getting that mischievous look into people's faces is the head tilted down while looking up. I think that that pose, that facial expression, gives off a lot of personality for a character. And there's a bunch of poses like that, guys. There's a lot of things in body language that expresses how a character is. You know, shoulders slumped down can give you kind of like a sad look. And shoulders up and, and back can give you sort of a brave and stalwart look. Heads tilted to the side can give you sort of a confused look. There's a lot of things that we can do to a character's gesture and to a character's personality just by giving them certain poses, certain stances, and certain gestures. I also wanted this piece to be portrait, so a close-up of her face. The rim of her hat, I'm, I'm giving it a sort of depth of field look where it's blurred out because it's so big. I wanted it to look like it was close to the camera and her face was in focus. I also wanted to put some magic in there floating around her. I didn't want to put it in front of her face or on the details on the bottom, so I think around the rim of the hat is where it worked best. I also really like this overall blue look that Ronnie has. Blue against the black background I think has a good striking effect. And I wanted to try my hand at getting that blue and dark effect into this piece. 
And you'll notice I don't put a lot of detail into the top of her hat or at the bottom of her, her like, shoulders and dress because those aren't the focus of the piece. What I really wanted to be really well rendered out was her face. And the main focus of the portrait, I wanted to be her eye. And it's that's one of the big striking features of Ronnie is that one of her eyes is sort of magically sewed shut. And I think that's a really interesting character design choice. I wanted that to be the focus of this painting. I also really like the smile that the original reference photo had, and I wanted to sort of convey that smile, but in a more uh, mischievous way here in the piece. And I think it came across pretty well. All in all, guys, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. I want to thank you guys all for watching my videos, for coming out to watch and support the channel. And here's my shameless plug for asking you guys to click that like button and click the subscribe button so you can see all my future videos as well. It would really help me out. <laughs>